Hello and welcome to Sense Consulting's Maximo demonstration video series. Today we will be approving a work order. This will be done with an existing work order and the one that we are going to be approving will follow our chronology from previous videos. Earlier we created a service request and then we converted the service request to a work order. Now we will be taking that new work order and approving it. In order to do that, we must navigate to work order tracking. So we are going to go to our go to menu, come down to work orders, and up to work order tracking. From here, you can return all records by simply hitting enter, and you'll see every single work order we have in our test system here. Or you can use one of these filter fields by typing in something that's specific to the work order in one of these boxes. I already know our work order number, so I will just punch this in here and hit enter. Here we see our water leaking under boiler 3. Now note that the status is waiting approval. This will be your status before anything is approved and sent out to technicians or specific work groups to be completed. You need to verify that all of the work order information is valid and all required fields have been filled before you may change the status of a work order. Things to check are work order number, description, the asset that it is assigned to, your work type, which CM here is corrective maintenance. Also, you need to check on your work group, its associated lead, and the supervisor. If you need to select any of these things, say that they're blank, just click the detail menu and hit select value. Then you'll be able to search using person, name, their title, department, location, site, or organization. And you can find the correct person and assign this to them. The next step, since we have all of our required fields filled, is to go up to our menu and look for the icon with three spheres that look like they're in a cycle. And this is our change status button. From here, you'll get your change status pop-up window. It'll display your work order number, description. You can see the long description if you click. Remember that the orange arrow means there's something in here. So just to double check. We'll show you that there seems to be a large pool of water under and oil under boiler 3. Check elbow for feed water pump. It appeared to have water dripping from it. Hit OK. And you'll see the status and the status date. To change the status, simply click this drop down arrow and select your desired new status. We are approving this work order, so we're going to click Approved. Then click OK. and you'll see this message status change completed successfully. So we'll scroll back up to the top. Note that our status has been approved. Another way to do this, if you don't see your change status button, or it may be cut off on the screen you're using, or some other issue arises, you can use this select action menu. To access this, click the drop down arrow, and the first choice is change status. You'll come to this, and then we can see, oh, it's already been approved, so we'll just hit cancel. And that concludes approving a work order. Thank you for watching, and be sure to check back for more videos.